Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. This is a quick video about how we can add more tenure tiers to the PTO Manager Excel template. In this video, we will briefly describe what the PTO Manager Excel template does to set the context, and then we will go into a simple four-step process by which we can add more tenure tiers. Now let's get started. So this is our Excel template, um, and then we have the PTO policy settings. This is where uh, small businesses can set their PTO policies using the various options available so that it mirrors the PTO policy of the company. And then um, we, we the user can enter the list of employees in the employee data sheet and then the time off information here. And then the PTO report is automated, which will show the PTO report for one employee at a time. And then the calendar sheet will show all the employees and their availability for a month. And you can change the month here. A lot of interactivity built into this template. And so essentially, this is a solution for small businesses to manage the PTO data for their employees. And now in this video, what we're going to talk about is how we can change this table or add more tiers to the table. To understand what this table is, so for example, any employee with the tenure of zero, meaning they are beginning, it's a new hire employee, um, they will get 12 days of PTO accrual every year. And then the maximum PTO that they can have in the balance is totally 15 days. And then any other, if the employee reaches 24 months, that is two years of employment or tenure, then they start earning 15 days of PTO every year and the maximum is 20. And so similarly, if the employee reaches three years and above, and then they will get 18 days of PTO every year, which means the maximum there that the employee can have is 25 days. This is something that the user can change in your uh, business. If it is not 12, if it is 10, you can type in 10. So that's very straightforward. However, in some companies, you need more than three tiers. For example, let's say I have another tier where once the employee reaches, um, let's say, five years or 60 months of tenure, then the employee is eligible for 20 days of PTO accrual every year. Um, so in order to do that, we have to add another row to this tenure table. And so let's say I enter 60. So what has happened here is that this 60 has not been added to the tenure table. And how would I know that? Um, the best way to know, uh, or there are many ways, but one way would be um, you see the border here, the thick border line, and that did not change. So it's still after row 39. So row 40 is not part of this table. Another way you can know that is if you click on this cell, which we typed, you will see that the table uh, ribbon does not appear. But if I click here, the table tools ribbon up here. So that means this is part of the table. This cell is not part of the table. So why is it not part of the table? This is because this sheet is actually protected. And hence, in a protected sheet, when you add more data to the end of the table, it doesn't auto expand. And so that feature will be disabled whenever we protect the sheet. So why do we protect the sheet? There is a lot of formulas that are dependent here. And so any editing of formulas by the user by accident can actually create uh, inaccuracies and incorrect uh, results. And so that's why we protect the sheets wherever it's needed. Um, not that we want to keep the formulas a secret because we do provide the password so that the user can edit if they are very familiar with Excel and formulas, we give them the information so that they can do it. However, for the most users, um, protecting the sheet actually helps because then uh, they don't have to be extra careful about messing some formula or editing a formula by mistake. So that's why we protect the sheet. So now this sheet is protected and that's why we're not able to add more rows. So in order to add, let's follow a very simple four step process. Step number one, go to the review ribbon, click on unprotect sheet. It will ask you for a password and the password is in Zara. I'm going to type the password, click OK. So now we have unprotected the sheet or unlocked the sheet. OK, so now we should be able to add more data to this table. So I'm going to type 60, 
press enter same thing i did before but now you saw that the border line moved here and now if i click on the cell you see the table tools ribbon that means this is part of the table so now we have added another tier to the table and you can enter the data here just like usual okay so now we have actually added a fourth tier to our tenure table and you can add more by just typing another one and say okay after 72 so you can add any number of rows to this table now um, because it's unprotected and you can add, um, enter the data and for example if you don't want this um, tier then right click delete table rows so that will actually remove that row from that table okay so that was step number two which was entering data step number three is actually to protect the sheet again because now that we have done what we wanted we can go back and protect the sheet and then protect type the password don't change it don't have, you don't have to change any of those options you just have to re-enter the password then click OK. So now you're done. So now you have you're back to where you were, and now you've added the table, uh, the tenure to the table. Um, there is also another tenure table here. If in case you want to um, also add this, you will follow the same steps. But this is a tenure for the second type of PTO. This is for first type of PTO. There are two types. For example, you can have vacation and sick days as two separate types of PTOs that you can have for a business. And so that is what this template is designed to do. Okay, the fourth step is to actually save the changes because if you don't save the changes, then um, you when you open the file again, you will not see the new tenure tier in the table. So fourth step is just save. So quickly to recap, first step, unprotect the sheet, enter the password, and then once it's unprotected, add the data to the row following the end of the table. Once the, the data has been entered, third step, go back and protect the sheet again. Fourth step, save your changes. So this is how easily and quickly you can add tenure tiers to your tenure table. If there are any questions about what we discussed, please post them in the comments. And then if you like this video and Excel templates, please like and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified about future videos. I will put the link to the PTO Manager Excel template and also the article which explains the four-step process in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching this video.